All right, folks, this is a special treat. I have the one and only world famous Shane Dublin monkeying around. And he is Sporting. unbelievably gonna do some whitewater boating with me today. He's got his um, Liquid Logic Remix XB10, which has it seen whitewater? Like water with white in it? No, yeah, no, okay. No, it's, it's, it's seen water. He's I had also it in the bathtub twice. He's also sporting my old Lotus Designs dry top and uh, rocking that thing out. But um, take a ride. So we're heading up. We're gonna do Glencoe to Red Slide today. The river is at like 3.5, and coming up because we just had a big thunder boomer cruise through here. Uh, the forecast sometime tomorrow it's supposed to get up to like seven feet, but even that would be fine. So we'll be between 3.5 and four or five, something like that. Should be a perfect flow for Shane to get his whitewater game going. We were gonna head to the boiling hole. That didn't work out. It's at, it's at 2,000 now. It's going up like a rocket. So let's have some fun. Are you allowed to paddle the run if you can't get your skirt on? <laughs> Should be fine. Is the swimmer bell ready? I mean, is it? The swimmer bell never sleeps. Okay. Go hard, go hard. Yeah. Now straighten out. Very nice, go right through there. Oh yeah. That was good. Right here. So we're gonna come into it. Lean the boat a little bit and leave your paddle in the water just like that. Keep leaning, keep leaning, keep leaning. All right, pad to me, paddle, paddle. Do you know what you did wrong? So you want to use your energy to see the eddy line? Yeah. Clear as day? Stay right there, I'll do it again. You want to bust through the eddy line before you turn. So I want to come straight through the eddy line, straight through, and then it turns in there. I'm always in control. You got to use your energy to get through the eddy line, otherwise it'll bounce you. It's called an eddy bounce, and you'll float downstream backwards. Now, when you put your front in there, the stern is not in the eddy. The front is. When your front's in the eddy and your back is not, it's gonna, spin you out, right? it's gonna do the spinning for you. Yeah. So the more dynamic an eddy is, the faster you can make that happen because the river does it for you. Okay. So next time we practice one, go right through the eddy with speed. You want a downstream stroke as your last thing you do. So I'll do it again. When I'm coming in the eddy, I'm gonna place a left stroke when about my feet are crossing that eddy line. One downstream stroke, and then I'm gonna place my pivot, I put my paddle on the inside and hold it there. If you don't, it can you can spin out too fast. If you hold it, you can do a slower carve. But basically all I want you to focus on is the downstream stroke before I get in the eddy. Watch me do it again. So as I come in, the left stroke's gonna be the last thing I do. I'm coming in right there nothing else is needed if you don't do that stroke it it doesn't send you in there just right so we'll find another eddy and we'll keep trying this because it's a key and just remember be aggressive the biggest v the biggest wave trains that's your line Nice. Right stroke right there. Big right stroke. And then lean left. See how it's like slack water moving water? Over here it's, it blurs. Where does it, where's the eddy line? It's somewhere in there. Right. So you wanna, you wanna use that well-defined eddy line. Also, your eddies might not be huge, so you need to get in right behind whatever's making the eddy. As the water gets bigger, the eddy lines, as they dissipate, they get really confused. There's weird seams that start falling, but it's all compacted right there so you can bust through it real fast. And you always wanna catch the eddy as high as possible in the eddy. Not, you were coming in way out here, yeah. which you caught the eddy, but up there's where you wanna catch it. Boulder Garden Boogie, there's no wrong answer. 
just wherever you see flow and want to go. That's a good one. Tight to the rock. Right stroke. Paddle, paddle. Very good, not bad. Yeah, Shane! Woo! Somewhere right in there is usually good and it all changes with every level. What are we doing here, bud? <laughs> um, see, what happened was... I, what, what happened? <laughs> I thought I had seen some stuff in the river that was like trash we needed to get up. It was You're doing a little river, the little material. river cleanup. So I, I got doing you. A river cleanup. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. We... <laughs> well, this, I guess I'll be on my way now. Oh, it's a good one. You just give me a... Left edge up. Left stroke, left stroke again. Left edge up, keep it up, keep it up, nice! But if you caught right behind the rock, then it's beautiful. But look at you catching Eddie, Shane. Look at you.
No, come on. Look at him go. Look at him go. Pow, 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 pow. One more, one more. Look at you. Getting better and better. The next thing you want to do is as soon as you place that, really don't do it like a half stroke. If you're doing these little cat paw strokes. Get a really good stroke. And also what you're doing is not just pulling water. Like you're not doing this. You're twisting your core. But you're trying, that's all that matters. You're good. You're all right. Relax. Where's your paddle? Stand up right here. All right, here you go. I lost my shoes. You lost them? Both of them. What kind of, what kind of shoes are they? Like Jeep shoes. Right, right there, Lord. Where? They're in the boat. <laughs> Let's try to get left. Yeah. Um, to that right behind those rocks. Man, you were looking so good, then you didn't edge. No. You're like, I'm edging. I'm not edging. I'm underwater. <laughs> yeah, I hit the rock. And it knocked my, I was reaching for the skirt when I hit the rock and it knocked my hand loose. And so I missed the skirt and I'm like, you never, you never tried the uh, T-Rescue.
that's a good run perfect for what we're doing with shane now it's time to eat let's go get some food you gotta get on all right folks we are done with lunch graham soda shop we were so hungry we forgot to take the gopros in but uh what'd you get um i gotta go man you gotta go he don't want to talk about oh there's <laughs> something i'm forget. oh do you what is it do you remember something we said we were going to do something oh yeah we got to get your straps did you uh, no straps not the straps no, I think, no, no. oh gonna, i see what i know we don't want to show people my messed up dirty truck right? oh folks oh see Whoa. we have to uh that's that's it's, it. i got just a spot for this sticker <laughs> we got the swimmer bell going on shane dublin's helmet and i think actually that is the first time you've swam on camera with me so yes what people will do for this bell is amazing look at there that looks sharp All right, Shane is now part of the most prestigious kayaking order on the planet. I mean, I, I Swimmer was, Bell, baby. I thought it was Club Nine. No, this is even bigger than Club Nine. Oh, okay. He still, you still want Club Nine, don't you? We may get there one day. We may get there. All right, folks, we had a blast. Got Shane on the whitewater boat. We'll, we'll get him at the boiling hole next, so stay tuned for that, and man. Thank you, brother. See you later. All right, man. See you next time.